In the first folio of Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing, there's a character named Imogen who is just in the stage direction and she uh, enters and exits two scenes. And that's it, she never says a word. She's supposedly Leonardo's wife and Hero's mother. Um, and if you know the play, you'd think she'd say something given that fact, but she doesn't. Well, it's a, it's a completely, it's a utterly male-centric uh, world. It's illegal for a woman to appear on stage. Which then leads us to the opening night of Much Ado About Nothing, uh, where one of the actors is too drunk to walk around, uh, and she becomes the first woman on a Shakespearean stage, mostly because A, she's there, and B, she's large enough that she can haul this dude around and hold him up physically while he speaks his lines. Imogen uh, enters our world as the other. She's she's the strange one. Uh, one of my lines is, she, that's a rare one, she's a rare one. She just is, and it's the people around her that are kind of uh, spinning, trying to figure out um, who she is, what she is, what she's all about, and they constantly underestimate her. When this Imogen says nothing, she still holds very much power. I wanted to write her a play as a way to um, think about and examine all the voices that are absent from our canon, either because they never had voice or because they were cut or erased. She's fighting for her existence and her relevance. And uh, man, it, it, she's unforgettable. She's unforgettable.